big performance there, finally off the winning start, zero points so far, two games, zero goals, but big performance today, what, what, what do you make of it? I fucking, you know what, I'll be honest with you, Brendan, I wasn't expecting much from when I came to Jade, but I think Josh Lou added a completely different dimension of the player, I don't know what you think. I brought like a bit of a... Aerial threat there, didn't he? That would work with Black and other games. Aye, I think Atu as well, to be honest with you. Like 6 mil looks like a bargain, to be honest with you now. Uh, down the wing, with a bit of skill. Can't complain, right? Uh, like. Bright spot, wasn't he? Bright spot. Uh, I mean, I've slated Perez in the past as well, but I think he did well, didn't he? Aye, I've been. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I don't really mean him. I'll be honest with you, I don't really mean him, but the day, he showed a little bit more like, potential that way. But all four were the same, do you know what I mean? Uh, I think he's clocked as hell. Aye, good header, wasn't it? Uh, don't rate him, mate. <laughs> I mean, West Ham didn't turn up. Aye. But uh, we didn't, that was the most important thing, wasn't it? Aye, aye, that's where you now have three points on the board, kicks off the season, hopefully. Alright, let's spot him in, Jeff. Aye, spot him in. Do you and your father? Aye. Happy with the day? Aye. Buzzing. Buzzing, brilliant, yes, yes. How much needed a win? Yeah, oh, desperate, desperate, yes. Yeah. If we did get the win this year, I think it would have been real. Yeah, they didn't really spike the crowd. We could have gotten a rough house back. Aye. Yeah, which did, we do what it needs to get on. Get the team a chance, let them set the door a bit, let them get in the swing. Um, you know, the championship's different than the championship. We know that, we're not, we're not that tight, we're, 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 you know, we're putting our heads in the sand. But um, yes, we still need to buy. We do need some new players. If the money's released, maybe, hopefully. But uh, you can't fool yourself and think we're going to get through the Premiership with the team we've got because we need to strengthen. We really need to strengthen the um, But at the same time, the day's performance. That's yeah, brilliant. That's really, really promising, isn't it? But Absolutely. like you say, yeah. it's a huge week going to the final in the transfer window. Oh, yes. Two or three players in. Obviously, two or three are coming out with yeah, the yeah. yeah. Free up some wages and that. That's all. I had to free some wages up, which we did. Really, I can. At last. Some dead wood and that. And Yon's off. Just a few more out. Couple in. Looking at Johnson and Paul, like, the day. And against Huddersfield. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm rating him. Yeah, I'm rating him. It does, I like, it does. I'm rating him a day. Everyone play good today. You can't fault anyone. You play, like, play class. Across. From the start, like the first minute, from the night. Like, like, you're like you were quite now, you know, it's a huge jump because again, we kind of got the points today. Yes. International break now, we'll be all doing good. Now we look, hope we get a few players in, so possibly just want to be able to. That's it. And I think, um, I think you've got to build on that. And you know, I think the players themselves, even though, you know, some players may think that they may be up the door. If you really stick in and dig your toes in and show sure off how, if you see a professional, be professional, play professionally, and then you might change his tune. You might say, oh, I think I'm going to keep it. Um, but Deadwood stuff, like Chris has just said, um, you need to offer them that because the wages that they're saving from that is your new money for new players. And uh, that's what I think you have to do. But time will tell. Uh, what about today? Just Sorry, mate. Sorry. Jordies! You know, that is what's going to happen. It has to happen. It's got to happen. In this place here, the St. James' Ward, there's got to be a fortress, as it used to be, and that's the way it is. And the supporters will always be behind the team, always. Provide it, they do 100%, get out there, dig in, get stuck into the game, and show them that what they're here for one reason, to play for this team and this club. Give 100% for the full 90 minutes, that's all they want. Without a doubt, yeah. we were the 12th man of the day, and the players give the encouragement to continue that on. That's right. Given the first goal, then. But didn't like I would we sometimes shit on to get on the back of players and the team and that but the day just like the crowd in that from the first minute man was just crowded and that's what they needed and they came out and they just they just responded to us but it was down to them the VR class kind of problem I don't know. I was overjoyed with the performance really I mean that's what I was hoping yeah. for not necessarily expecting but Come away three to win us there against it. We, we looked in the transfer and we thought, they've done what we should have been doing. Uh, we've turned them over the day, so happy days. Or we're continuous. Right, Andy. Hello. 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 What do you make of the day? Yeah, it was all doom and gloom before the game. Big result, big three points. Happy? Yeah, it was all doom and gloom. Uh, obviously, happy at the end. Um, yeah, three points, but I don't think it changed the lot in terms of the transfer policy. <laughs> I think um, the team did well. Yeah, it's a good performance, though. Yeah, it's a good performance. 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 Yeah, it's a good performance.
My worry isn't uh, the 11 that he put out today, it's if we don't, we've got a few injuries. There's 25 minutes of the season, we've got a couple of injuries, a couple more to, um, you know, if we lose Atu's pace down the left or Richie or someone, it's going to be exposed a little bit. You have to bring the players in that while well, trades on the week. Yeah. Oh, were, I mean, was, rookies, don't mention the cup, I'll, I don't want to be banned from Facebook or anything like that, you know. I mean, it was a disgrace, but the less said about that, the better. You know, killing hope in one competition when you haven't won anything for the best part of 50 years is outrageous. Like, you know, but, but I don't that's think he's, that's his, uh, Paulo, isn't it? It's always that's his priority. He prioritises the, well, the league. And you can't really criticise that because he's sort of openly published the fact he doesn't try in the cup since it's not a priority. So, you know, so it is what it is. But I think in terms of today's performance, I thought it's you know, absolutely murdered them. I think they're going to be amongst the strugglers. They're, not, they're going to struggle away from home. They're not the, on the top sides. So I think just keep, you know, don't get too down after last week's performance. Don't get too up after this one. Uh, that's it's still very early days, isn't it? You know, like, I think if we had got beat today, everyone would have been doom and gloom, but we had a good result, but everyone can't get over the heels about that. Like. But at the same time, let's not be too unhappy, you know. Let's just uh, <laughs> celebrate today, a few beers. And then, um, you know, take it from the next game. Happy medium, get hopefully two or three players in transfer market, push on from there. Well, I don't think we're going to get anybody, so let's just... Uh, Do you know? No. <laughs> it's, it's actually what we're talking about, you know. Right. I think we've got, you know, well played Stokes' fifth choice striker. Did okay today. Um, Meat Road had a little cameo, but, you know, Gale's going to be surplus if... Um, if you play one up front, you might as well sell him to a championship side, get 10, 15 million for him and get a player out of that. But I don't think it's going to happen, but anyway, I'm happy. I don't look it, but I'm happy. Thanks for the meeting, Jess. Team off the win, start the Premier League. Can it go there? Right, I think so. I think it's fine, you've got to win in four Thank nations. Thank you. Five, five, five! Good result. Do you reckon you'll see me a difference? Or? I think he did. I think he's holding the ball back in front, which is what we need. Uh, Gail's obviously got fits. Uh, I mean, I know West Ham didn't serve today, but the most important thing is that we did. Uh, we got three points, that's all that matters. I was happy because obviously you know, a lot of doom and gloom start the season, but was only two games in. But now that I've got a kick start, we can really push on, do you know what I mean? Uh, I hope so. I generally hope it's just kick start last season, so we need to get points on the table and the last So, obviously, beating relegation is a main factor, but if we get mid table, we have to sign it Aye, that's what I told you. A couple more saves, that'll be happy with you. Same. That's all we want. Just want to see that tries. That's all we want. That's all we want. That's all we want. John, all of you from Norway, uh, did you enjoy the game today? Yeah, it was good. I think it was a uh, struggle in the beginning, but after they got the first goal, it was really... They really, didn't really create any chances this time, so I think it was well deserved, and I think we played well. Very solid in defence, so I'm very happy with the result and also the tactics today. Yeah, I think we dominated the game, and like you see, after the first goal went in, the crowd got relaxed, everyone got behind the team, and you could feel a bit off the shoulder, and we just pushed on. Um, yeah, I still think like the crowd were a bit tense today. It wasn't really taking off until we maybe scored a third goal. So uh, all the supporters were still like a bit hesitant about good we win or not. But I think this is One the start. Dangerous, though, is that you always feel that you're gonna catch it. Even two 0 was still like people were doubting. But I think after, of course, after three 0 it was not that at all. Yeah. But I think this hopefully this will kickstart the season for us. And yeah. I think they should be not that close to the Asian battle. Think the squad's strong enough to survive relegation? I would prefer some new signings, but I think if we play Metro, I think we will definitely manage to stay in the direction. Yeah, we seem to do better to deal with more the physical presence up front. I think it's not only the physical presence, it also, okay, he haven't been showing how good our finisher is for Newcastle, but if you see for Serbia, for instance, it's also a very good. Poachers, so I think definitely he's capable of scoring 15 for squad seven. So. so the week ago, do you think we should add anyone in? Or? Of course, I still think we need some players, maybe a midfielder, maybe even a striker if you want to play neutral. But I have to say, I think still the squad is strong enough, but I definitely prefer more settings. So. Yeah, me too. Hopefully, we'll see you two out of them before the end of it. Yeah, it's still a week to go, almost, so let's see. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Yeah. Hey, Chris, so you've seen, because of the first two results, the build-up of this game, loads of negativity around Rafa and the transfers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least you seem to have quashed that the day, like, the fans were behind the team, the team came out and performed. Well, that was it. That was, for me, that was the most important thing to do, was to try and get something, not to get beaten in. Um, 
but uh, at least get a point, but obviously we all got to win, um, and I think it was just important to basically shut some of the media up and some of the pundits up, we've been trying to desperately create this crisis, as always do, don't we? A couple of, a couple of defeats in the one, three or four defeats in the one, and I was unhappy with everything, it's just, I mean, obviously I understand he is unhappy at no point, but I think we're probably just trying to get the fans behind the wall, trying to kick the United, and that's what we need to do, basically, and stay away and um, stay positive. That's why we created this channel because we didn't want any yeah, so the typical the Sky Pro like yeah, students apology uh, against you guys all the time. So yeah, get views from the fans and the know. I mean after today's performance, we don't want to get too excited, but no. you're more optimistic now after today than you were obviously before the final Yeah, definitely. I mean against Spurs, I thought we looked really good until obviously the two injuries in the same lot, um, and then you know. After that, obviously, it fell apart a little bit, but we weren't like overrun ridiculously. But, and then, obviously, Huddersfield was a bit disappointing, but you know, away, away performance is always going to be a little bit different um, than the home ones. But today is being almost like what we should have done against Spurs in the second half and what should have, what should have happened. I know it's West Ham, obviously, aren't as good um, as Spurs, obviously, but uh, I think, you know, we've got to be pretty positive after three points in here. And 3 0 gives us a bit of confidence. You know, one week left of the transfer market, do you expect or what would you like to see him? I mean, I would like, I know he's been after a rookie, but I would, I would like to see him keep up, but I think it would be ideal to get him straight. Um, a left back would be handy because I think Mbemba did well today, but I think obviously he looks uncomfortable there, doesn't he? Because he's not, he's not really a centre half. I mean, he's not really a left back rather. Um, centre half playing left back, he's right footed as well. It's a bit difficult. So, um, yeah, I think a left back ideally, another creative player. Yeah, Marino did well. Um, great pass through for great for the goal, but we do need a solid number 10 minutes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, did you hear much about this prior guy? Yeah, from yeah, Sandro. No, I don't know whether there's any sort of real truth in that, but we um, have to wait and see, I suppose. Uh, well, we can only hope going forward and then we can carry this on the rest of the season. Yeah, exactly. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. It's all good. Well, I'll meet you as well. Do we build castles in the sky? Oh, tell me why. Ready, Ian? Hey, yeah, with MTV Award winning that Ian Van Zyl here on the Bad Fight Channel. Uh, pleasure to have you on. Are you enjoying Newcastle? I'm in Newcastle. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game, yeah? I was hoping they would win Newcastle and they won instead. So, happy about that. We need the points. Big, big, big game. We need points. Off the wind's gone. So, to be honest, no, not not the best football, you know, <laughs> not like the like the school football like Barcelona or Bayern Munich, you know, but I like the, the fighting spirit. And uh, the new class of the world, they like the fighting spirit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, like the performance. They like the people there, they fight. That's good. Yeah. Matt Ritchie, Warren Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, He's a great player, but Moro defender. He had trouble uh, with Cresswell and then Antonio, but uh, yeah, they're good. You know, the, the fighting spirit made them win the 3-0, so that's good. So you played tonight, it wasn't Moro? Yeah. Oh, you look forward to the show? Yeah, I'm going to be back. Okay. I always do. Yeah, always, always, always. I don't know. I know which one to play. Play from this guy. Castle in Sky, man. Like Newcastle to the sky. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I don't drink beer. No? no, I just coke and then mix it with like vodka or drink bubble. What's that? Bubble. Ah, it's just a load of bubbles. You see, it'll be on bubble. Will there be plenty of people on bubble like your show? Like we'll need to try that one. <laughs> <laughs> Does that get, does that get, does that get all the drugs? Oh, I can see everyone in the table. Everyone looks at the bubble. Get a bubble. Lots of bubbles now. Get the bubble. Right, cheers, Ian. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe us on YouTube at the Magpie Channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Magpie Channel. Enjoy yourself.